Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 48. Hope you guys are going to have a great Wednesday today or whatever day it is that you get around to watching this video. Uh, as always, please consider hitting the like button if you like what you see. Subscribe if you're new. I uh, want to welcome Just Jeff to the channel. A new subscriber actually from this morning, so that's awesome. And uh, let's see, we had uh, two job interviews requests come in on the same day, a couple of weeks ago. Uh, Newcastle, currently uh, 20th in the premiere, uh, offered as an interview. Of course, I rejected it. And uh, FC Nuntes uh, from Ligue 1 in France. Uh, they offered us a job interview as well. That might have been an interesting job uh, in a journeyman style save, but if we were doing an actual journeyman, who knows where we'd be at right now, right? So uh, I declined both of those because we are winding this up. Uh, keep your ideas coming for the beta save or any particular style saves, challenges, anything else that you guys uh, would like to possibly see. Looks like we might have a couple of good uh, youth prospects coming in this year's class. They have not arrived yet. We got the email notifying us, so I'm excited to see them when they do finally show up. Taking a quick run through since our last episode or yesterday's episode, uh, we had a 3-0 defeat to Arsenal. Uh, that did not go well. Uh, we did shock Everton 2-0. Uh, Bilotti with a goal and Callum, Ch Callum Chambers scored an own goal in the second half to give us the two-goal advantage. And then we destroyed Bristol City 5-0. Ids with the early goal, La Quintana and Fosu Mensa, two of our new players with goals. Bilotti with another goal and Craig Mitchell with a goal as well to wind up the scoring. And then we had the tables turned on us. Chris Wood scored a goal and Calvin, Calvin Stings with a brace in the 3-0 victory over us. So uh, currently taking a look at the competitions, we are 12th position on 20 points after 17 matches, not doing badly at all. We're about halfway to the, to the promised land uh, to stay up guaranteed, I think 40 points give or take is kind of the uh, rule of thumb for, to uh, avoid relegation. It's going to be a long season. It's going to be uh, touch and go here the way that we're playing. But, you know, hey, we're only 10 points off of Europe, right? <laughs> not that that's going to happen. That is not going to happen. But, uh, oh, what else is going on? Alex Lowry I wanted to check. We have him loan listed. He's not getting uh, anything going on, and he is pissy. So I might give him a start or two if we play maybe some lower teams. We're having some issues with Downs, our new central midfielder. He, he's playing well, but he is just not... I mean, a 6'8", 8, 8, 4, 7, 6, 9. I mean, a 6-1 is not good, but he's playing well, right? He's playing a 7-0-2. We're just not seeing the connection in the midfield because they haven't played together. They're both new, so maybe we just need to stick with that. We'll see. I've been uh, rotating Mitchell in and out of the uh, that left wing back position. And also what I've been doing the last few matches is we've been dropping back with a standard defensive line. That didn't seem to help against, uh, who did we just play? Barnsley? Is that who I said? Burnley. Burnley, Barnsley, whatever. So today we're back for Aston Villa and West Brom. Oh, I did have one bit of news. Uh, we just extended uh, Daniel Potsma's loan to the end of the season, and we have gotten an offer for Ferend Rawson. Uh, he has been with us for a long time. If we take a look at his history, we got him on a free from uh, Derby County way back when, when we started the save. And he has been a mainstay for us for the most part. I mean, even last year, 23 starts, 10 reserve appearances. You know, Bilotti coming in knocked him out of the starting 11. And then this year, four starts and two uh, reserve appearances. Not playing badly. I have no issue with him on the bench. 
Uh, he is making a little over a million dollars a year. That's a lot of money tied up in a guy, but he's good. I like him. Certainly no issues. He's a good fill-in for us, but he came to me and uh, asked to leave. Uh, that, you know, he felt he had done everything at this club that he could. You know, so so when you have somebody like that that is at that level with your club, and, and he is one of our club leaders, so moving him out, being that he's not a starter, gives room for somebody else to step into that third leadership role, which we kind of need to have happen. Uh, and you can see he's, uh, you know, he's on a million dollars, but we have gotten uh, an at-value bid of fifteen and a half million, we're picking up about a hundred thousand of his contract, so it'll save us about nine hundred thousand a year in salary, which is good. And Lahav, or I don't know how to pronounce that, Lahav AC, they're in League Two in France. So the fact that a League Two is the only team coming in for him, I've gone ahead and listed him. He's probably going to take this offer. I don't know if he wants to step back. But he did say that he, you know, he would be interested in talking to them. So we'll see what happens there. But he is probably out. I do want to take a quick gander. So Fosu Mensa and Wharton would end up being our reserve players there. Diakati, not so much. He is 6'4. Heading, marking, tackling. He's not as good. Tell you what, I might. Because I like Diakati. I, I, there's, a, there's a club that's looking at him. Not sure if they're going to go after him or not. He's right-footed, so he'd have to play behind Bellotti anyway. He'd play on this side. Vieira's right only. Okay, Lindsey would be our, our guy on that side. and I, I'd like to get rid of him. Ross Sykes is right only. Robbie McKenzie. So I really need another left-footed center back. Wharton can play there. Actually, that's not a bad idea because he's not starting much right now anyway. Okay, so we may have our bases covered there. I'm just, because Wharton is currently starting on the left, but I am trying to put Mitchell in there a lot. But let's get to it. It's 39 degrees, so it's a cold day. We are at home. We are underdogs. We are inconsistent. And you know what? Oh, we're going to showcase Rawson today. That's good. All right, so we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. We've got Diakati on the bench. Bellotti is suspended. That's right. He's suspended for yellow card accumulation. But you can see uh, our last five games, our ratings, we're not playing badly, you know, at all. It just is what it is. Uh, you know what? Let's give Hamilton a start. Let's put him over there with Ids. I would like, let's give Diakati a start there. Especially if we've got people interested. You know, you got to play him a little bit. I think I heard uh, Lelugio mention that. Um, you've got to play him or, or they start losing value. Uh, they're excited. Oh, real quick. Um... Let me pause this real quick. I don't do this very often, but you guys, you know, I'm a big YouTube watcher. Um, I know I had done a, a, a play, a let's play of a game called Dwarf Fortress a while back and got quite a few views of it. And a lot of you guys commented on it and I had a lot of crossover success with that. Uh, I want to recommend a guy called Krug Smash. I'm going to pull up a thing for you guys to see here for just a second. So this is his channel, Krug Smash, and what's special about him is he does his Let's Plays as a story, and he does, you can see, like right there in the, you know, I'll, I'll forward it a little bit, right there. So he does all his own artwork, so he animates, not animates, but he has still drawings, uh, does good background music. I'm highly impressed with, with his work. Uh, he's a guy that I have been watching for quite a while. 
And uh, so I just wanted to throw that out there. He doesn't need any more subscribers or anything, but, uh, you know, subscribe to him anyway if you like what he's doing. Highly recommend it if you're into the Dwarf Fortress stuff. Check him out if you haven't heard of him. Um, I, I love his work, and, and just with the art and stuff really brings the game to life. And he doesn't just do plays. He does sp uh, specific cut-ins and does and he does a story dialogue and he is very very good so anyway just going to throw that out there but let's get back to what we're here for today and that is some forest green premier league football and we are playing aston villa and mitchell takes the throw right to the keeper ramsdale let's ask for some creativity Oh, nice tackle away. Marcos Rogerio lays it off. Back to Deacchetti. Oh, that was a nice look for a pass over. Postema. Oh, great save. Good job, boys. And we get it out. Nice, nice. Looking to see if uh, Greasiness is still playing for him. I don't see him there. And we put a header on target, making Ramsdale make another save. So we're looking good there. Knezovic drops it into the corner. We can't get there. Don't play with the freaking ball. Jesus. Oh, good save by our keeper, Nomov. <sighs> oh, time out. You can't call time out in English football. We do not want them as ball playing defenders. Please and thank you. Woo, Nomov comes up out of the goal. Makes the save. Oh, that could have been dangerous. Well, there's a nice distribution by Mitchell. He's through. Marcos. Oh, and he's there. Oh, he deserves something out of that. Uh, really deserves something. Good move into the box. Oh, that's headed out. Murphy tracks it down. Oh, that was a bad entry pass. Let's uh, let's demand more. Oop, pressured. Rawson can't handle it. Maybe it's a good thing we're looking to move him. All right, Bosu Mensa into the box. All right, the keeper reads that pretty easily. Stab it. Stab it. Stab it away. Uh, oh, you should have been there, Rosario. All right, we're showing some good presence of mind defensively. All right, nice ball. Drop it in. Collins is there. Oh, what a slot by Collins. Oh, deft touch with that right foot. And we are up 1 0. That is brilliant. Uh, da, da, da. Let's praise him right there. Oh, we've got a touch in. Is it Rosario? Yes, Marcos Rosario gets credit for it. Oh, uh, VAR is going to review it. Offsides. Oh, well offsides. Ah, no goal. Disallowed. That's, that's heartbreaking. Oh. Uh, we could have used that. We could have used that. Still, excellent efforts. Everybody's playing well. Fosu Mensa on the right side. He's struggling a little bit. Oh, great save. I thought he was going to dribble it into the goal. Let's ask for creativity. A little bit of pressure. McGinley and Collins. Oh, come on. Take the shot. 
there it is and i think he was off sides no nope, we're gonna take a corner out of that that's good we can do that uh do we want to make a move collins has turned calm you know what alistair murphy let's drop you back to the defensive right and then mid right we really don't have anybody over there do we we can drop ids back and then we can bring hamilton on and how about downs for knezic let's do that near post oh they get it out we're in trouble all right we've got runners on defense oh what a tackle Diacati, nice tackle there. All the way back from midfield. That was not good. Good save. Who was this? That was Mitchell. Ooh, okay. Mitchell, Diacati. Oh, it's a header by Ids. Ids dropped back to that midfield roll. He's there for the header. His sixth of the season. And I think we need to go in tactically here and start looking at some... Oh, you know one other thing we could do? No, can't do it yet. That's fine. That's fine. One thing at a time. We'll do it. Let's praise them. They're on their back foot going all the way back to the keeper trying to find a, a gap. They are moving the ball nicely. Oh, come on. Good clearance. Good clearance. Nice job. Oh, that was bad. Do Insert Homer Simpson sound effect. Do All right. Come on, boys. Oh, Mitchell controls it. He shows Downs what to do there. Uh, Diacotti just picks out a brilliant pass. It's there, and it's Collins. That's his seventh of the season, and it's 3-0 Forrest Green. I think Diacotti, man, that's, I think, i got to give some thought to maybe playing him more. Oh, and Ids gets on it. Plays it up to Hamilton. Oh, what a pass. Collins just onside. Oh, and Marcos Rosario. He should have buried that. Oh, it was an offsides call. Nope, goal kick. Good run. Let's praise. Fired up. All right, downs. Diacchetti. Back to downs. There's a header, and it's in. Marcos Rogerio gets on the score sheet this season. His first Flynn Downs with the assist. Gotta love that. Gotta love that. 4-0. Was not expecting this result today. Have to be honest. Uh, let's do a time-wasting sub. Craig Mitchell for Scott Wharton. I believe. There we are. We'll take that one, boys. 4-0. I didn't see that coming. We're up into ninth position. Definitely excellent work today. And we'll be back for, wow, we have West Brom and Newcastle in a three-day span. Preston fires their coach. Look, looks like they're looking, oh, Gary Monk. Uh, David Hughes on the hot seat. Eric Ten Hag. Uh, that's probably not the correct pronunciation on that. One goal, two assists, I'm going to say. Good job. All right, we'll see you guys back here in a minute. All right, we are back for West Brom. It's a 46 degree and drizzly day here at uh, Ashton Gate in Bristol. 22,648 tickets sold out of the 23.2 capacity. Not bad. Oh, let's take a quick look at finances. We are actually in the positives now, almost $3 million. 
and uh, we've made almost se over seven and a half million in profit already in half a season. So we're on track for about a fourteen million dollar profit plus whatever we make in prize money. This is just from TV revenues and ticket sales and whatnot. So kind of crazy, kind of crazy. So uh, yeah, liking that. Ten million dollars in TV revenue. That's stupid money. Oh, by the way, uh, just curious, uh, those of you that have gotten this far in the video, let me know in the comments what you thought about this uh, proposal last week by the big six on this bailout plan uh, for the championship and the, the uh, lower t League One, League Two. Uh, that they were proposing, but giving all the power to the just to the big six clubs. Um, I've heard quite a bit uh, online and social media. Just wonder what your guys take. I'm kind of glad. I'm glad that got turned down. The concept itself, I'm in favor of. But like most things, without getting too political, we want to give you this, which is good. It's like the carrot on the stick. But then this is what we want. We want all the power and you don't get anything. And it's more of the haves and more of the have nots, uh, you, know, it, you know, and less in the middle. Uh, I don't like that. So anyway, uh, that's what I thought the problem was, is that, yes, we want to give you this that you want, but then we want this. And there was talk that that could lead to the big six never being able to be relegated, even if they have you know, horrible years. Wouldn't it be great to see Man United get relegated and, you know, go through a 16-year run like Leeds did and see how they survive? That would be incredible. Uh, <laughs> it's just me. I'm, you know. All right, well, West Brom's the favorite. So let me know in the comments because I'm, I'm seriously curious to see what other people are thinking. All right, we're going to go here. We're going to put Mitchell back on. Diacati's in with Downs, Ross and Bellotti's back, Collins will be on, Hamilton is still, uh, Hamilton got a case of food poisoning between matches, so that was nice. Oh, I know what I wanted to look at. Yes, let's change this early. I need to change that permanently. I don't want them as ball playing defenders. I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to turn that on. We're going to drop back a little bit there few tweaks to the tactic today Albion come on boys I'm trying to see if I recognize any names in here do you see maybe oh I thought we were gonna get a steal there oh good tackle right to the opponent another good tackle did he save it he did oh that was dangerous dangerous rat sang a song about that dangerous but worth the risk and that might have been worth the risk marcos rosario up the left side to the touchline he's into the oh he's taken down in the box oh it's going to be a penalty really you need var for that are you kidding me all right, who's taking it? It's Mitchell. It's Mitchell. Oh, he comes right behind the keeper. If he would have just stayed put, that would have killed him probably, right in the chest. But we will take that 1-0 advantage. Let's ask for some creativity. They are moving the ball well. Oh, that's a nice through ball. And cleared out. Oof. That probably should have been a goal. That was a nice attempt. We got lucky. Collins. Take the shot. Take the shot. Oh, Marcos Rogerio with a double two-timer. And that's his second of the season. They got a block on the first one. Came right back. And he picked it out of the air with the volley. 2-0. Back post. Oh, it's there. Ids puts it in. His seventh of the season. And it's 3-0 inside 20 minutes. 
Oh my goodness. Have we found a magic elixir with the tweaks to the tactic? Let's give him the praise now. Mitchell is overwhelmed. Oh, good header out. Marcos Rosario's on it. Gets it up the pitch. Good ball movement there. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna let uh Diachetti take the oh run on to it. Oh my goodness, Aaron Collins with the toe in, eighth goal of the season, and it's four nothing Forrest Green. <laughs> wow. Eight shots, four on target, two chances, and four goals. Stunning developments in Bristol. Over the top. Ids is there. Oh, it's tapped away. All right, we got a corner out of this. Can we take advantage? It's back post and Johnston. <laughs> John Stone with the grab. Oh, another corner. Oh, there's a header by McGinley. It's his first of the season. Everybody's in on the action. Everybody's in on the action. 5 0 in the first half. Let's tell him to concentrate. They don't like that one, but 5-0 in the first half. I'm worried about complacency. I'm already thinking that's going to be the... Oh, my God! What the hell was that? There is something in the water. We need drug testing done. I'm calling for drug testing on my own team. Yep, they're overwhelmed by the feedback. That's okay. Oh, what a save by Nomov. 6 nothing. I'm just ready to get to the half. Oh, what a save. There you go. That is how you do it. Three minutes of added time. 14 shots to two. Nine on target. Only 40% possession, but six goals in the first half. Holy crap. All right, um, let's go calm. Don't let that happen. Uh, we'll let the assistant sort that out. All right, we'll give them, uh, oh, they're, they're, you know, I'm not going to give any shout. They're confident right now. All right, let's pull off uh, La Quintana for Murphy. Let's pull off, uh, let's bring Mitchell up. And Wharton on. I think that'll be our moves here. They're composed. And I'm I'm really good with the no highlights here, guys. I'm I'm up complacent. Uh, we need to ask for the concentration then. Oh, nice ball out. Oh, man. Beat two of our players and then tipped over by the keeper. It would be nice to get a clean sheet here. We'll see. Ids can't... Oh, that was nice of you. Just knock it out of bounds. Appreciate that. Thank you very much. Not sure who he was throwing it to. Doesn't look like we had anybody in the area. Collins putting a little pressure on. Uh, we are overwhelmed. All right, let's make one more sub. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna bring uh, I'm gonna bring Rawson on. Let's put him on the right. <clears throat> Oh, what a brilliant shot. Did Diachetti get credit for that one, or was it a tap-in? McGinley. Uh, he may have been off sides. 
He was. I'm assuming. Yep, there you go. The offsides call. He did a last second touch on it. I think Diachetti may have. That may have gone in. That may have gone in anyway. All right, well, there we go. I got nothing uh, bad to say about that game. That puts us up to eighth in the table. Again, very excellent work. The transfer window's about to be opening. Iaquinta, uh, yep, we will give you a little bit of praise. All right, so we open up in the FA Cup against Wimbledon in January in about a week. We're currently eighth in the table on 26 points. We have shaved that uh, Europe destination to a six-point lead for Tottenham as we have been on a roll here as of late. I'm, I'm really excited about the form this season. I mean, I wasn't expecting a lot. I thought we were going to be down into the table. Let's see. Marcus Rashford with 12, Dembele with 11, and Demir with 11 as well. Sala with an 805 rating, 10 assists for Fernandez and Salas, 8 for Silva. Player of the match, 6 for Sala, Allison with 13 clean sheets. Onana with 8 for Leeds. No, he's with Burnley. Uh no. Wrong side. Onana's with Tottenham. Uh, let's see, yellow card. So we're not on the leaderboard for anything. Taking a look at the squad. Uh, our goal leaders is uh, Collins with eight, Ids with seven, Hamilton with four. I tell you what, I think Collins has earned his starting spot back. That's what I'm thinking. <clears throat> I know Hamilton is, has much more upside, but he's also a lone player. And I think Ids is carrying his weight. I think Collins has given us some veteran leadership on that front line of attack. I'm, I'm thinking that's going to be the direction I'm going to go. Craig Mitchell's playing a 6-9-4, which isn't bad considering we're playing him in a training position that I don't know if he's going to pick up. He's only 20, so hopefully over the course of the season he does. Everybody else is playing pretty well. And look at Diachetti, man, 8-6-2. And he's playing a 7-6-8. I think he has forced himself back into that midfield role. If we look at the team report, let's compare him and Downs. Pretty much even. And I like Downs a lot. I like Downs a lot. I just, he's struggling right now. Diacati. Yeah, I mean, you know, they're not... None of them are, neither, neither, none of the three. I mean, I would have been very happy to start Diacati this year. I'm just wondering, with the struggles that Downs is having, and, you know, playing a 7-11, I don't call struggling, but 86% passing, he's only passing at 79. I think I bench this guy, and there's an, and it's for the same reason, right? Because he's on loan. He's on loan from Bayern Munich. If we've got guys that are basically even or playing evenly, then we should probably go with our players, right? Same as Collins over Hamilton. Even if they're better long-term, even if they have more upside, I would play that player if he was mine, but he's going to be gone into the season, right? Just something for me to think about. So if we go, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to change it up because I do want to take a little time off uh, before 21 comes out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up, I'm going to go back and recheck the calendar. I want to take about a week off and I won't be doing nothing during that time. I need to, there's some things I want to compile, historical stuff what teams that I have played with, what leagues I have played with, just to refresh my memory. 
And, you know, then I can kind of see where holes are that I haven't touched before. Uh, maybe some leagues that other people haven't touched very much. You know, like I did that, that Brazil save a few years, you know, like last year. Uh, things like that, you know, just, just trying to find a niche that, you know, that I can fill that would be unique. Um, one of you guys did throw out, and I forget who did it. Um, I want to give credit. I want to give credit. James Richards, uh, he made a comment that, you know, maybe I could do a, a, instead of a European journeyman, I could do a CONCACAF journeyman and try to build up a uh, Western Hemisphere uh, side and into a World Cup team. Uh, that would be interesting. Um, maybe, maybe. Uh, that's going to be more of a long-term save, so we kind of have to just see, um, you know, if that's something. But it's a good idea. I, I do have it penciled down, but as an idea in my book of ideas. But uh, anyway, four wins in five. I think we have uh, maybe turned a corner. Three, four, and all four were clean sheets. I'm ecstatic with that. So as I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of go back, relook at the calendar, but... I want to kind of power if I want to get through one more season because I'd like to do see how we end up have another season in the premiere, but we need to get through these. So I don't think I'm going to be going through every four, you know, after four, you know, do four off, two on, like I have been so far. So I want to power through. So I think what I'm going to do just right off the bat, let's get through the transfer window, get through this international break here. We'll be back for Sheffield United and Bournemouth. That'll, then we can catch up on transfers, and then we can jump ahead maybe. So I was looking at probably four more videos this season at the rate I was going. If we come back here, that would be one, and maybe two and three. That shaves off one episode, not a lot. Or maybe I don't come back in February. Maybe I come back in March. I think we need to touch on the tr any transfers, though. Oh, well, I'll figure it out. I always do. Is that a pair of cherries with soccer ball balls? If you're a Bournemouth fan, how do you feel about that logo? And is that your real logo? <laughs> I have the logo pack, so I'm assuming that's accurate. I Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> All right, guys, hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell for updates for the daily content uh, Monday through Saturday. Sunday, my only day that I don't upload a video. And, uh, hey, we'll see you guys tomorrow for wherever we're at. I got to go play some football here to get uh, to that episode. Take care, guys. Bye.